Uh, recent stock market volatility may have you a little bit nervous about opening up your 401k statements, uh, but there are some things you should be doing. Are there some things, is the question we're asking, that you should be doing to protect your money? And to help us answer that is Ted Schmelzley, Retirement Solutions Vice President at Securian Financial. Ted, good morning. Uh, how you doing out there? What's happening? Good morning. Good morning. It's great to be with you today. I love this high quality audio with the headset. This is one of the best zooms we've had all week, uh, but it's only Tuesday. I don't want to build you up too much. Ted, uh, let's get back to business here. What should we be doing in terms of our, whether it's 401k, IRA, some of these retirement accounts that we just want to keep peeking online every single morning? Yeah, well, uh, people, when they see the market kind of roiling and back and forth, the volatility, they get rightfully concerned. But at least with respect to 401k plans or 403b plans, kind of those retirement plans, it's all about the long term. So it's best to keep perspective rightfully concerned when you got volatility, but people really should be thinking about this with their head, not so much with their heart, because at the end of the day, what you're saving for is retirement, and that might not be for decades, so you've got time on your side. Mm -hmm. Timing is really the key with regard to saving, right, and, and, and preparing. I guess the, the philosophy with which you look at volatility changes if you're in your 20s versus maybe your late 50s. Couldn't agree more. That's absolutely the case. In fact, you know, I've, I've got kids that are in their 20s, and what I tell them is, you know, this kind of market and the down market really might be an opportunity to invest the most impactful dollars you, you ever will. And the reason is, you once you're putting it in and you're saving, over time, that's got the chance to compound. Mm -hmm. So. What people ought to be doing is really just making sure they understand when they have to when they'll have to use that money. What's your time horizon? And if you're in your 20s or 30s, you really do have decades before you'd have to um, take out money from your 401k. If you're nearing retirement, obviously your time horizon is a little shorter, and you're going to want to think about what the diversification or the asset mixes is within your portfolio. Mm -hmm. Might be a good time to talk to a financial advisor. Lots of tools available online. Securian.com has retirement calculators that can help. So there's a lot of information out there that you can, you can arm yourself with. And then as, as folks get into retirement, I mean, it, it must change again a little bit. It does. Well, and honestly, at that point, um, the song is, is really remains the same in terms of when am I going to need this? Obviously, if you're in retirement, there's a, a number of things that would come to bear. Are you taking Social Security? Do you have assets saved outside of your retirement plan? Um, are you, do you have a pension? There's, there's a number of different pieces to kind of put that entirement package together. Um, and again, finding a trusted advisor, somebody that you can uh, speak with to help guide you through all of those things is really important because even though it might seem like hey, I'm in retirement and uh, I, I've got this pot of money that I'm going to, to use, what you have to think is that's gotta last me until until I die. So uh, you wanna be careful to spend it wisely. And and there, the counsel of a good advisor is really is, is in order, I think, uh, because you might have decades in retirement before you live, we're all living longer, and you might have a long time before, uh, you know, to, don't want to outlive your money. Certainly, and, and, and you think about the calculators that, that you mentioned, I mean, that has to come in pretty handy uh, because at that point, right, we're just projecting how long we're gonna live, how much money we have, and at that point, it's just an equation. It is, um, again, there's a number of different facets to it. And we have had a move in our in our country where people used to rely more on defined benefit type pension plans, whereas now it's incumbent on us to save in 401k plans and 403b plans and the like. So again, uh, when you're young, get in as early and often as you can, saving that money so you're putting time on your side as you're approaching retirement, understanding your time horizon, understanding your, your risk tolerance and the assets that you've got and the diversification to match that time horizon are all very important. So really it does depend on where you're at in your life. Well, you mentioned having kids in, in their 20s. How do you balance that financial conversation where you're saying, look, we've got these time-tested principles of saving and investing and they're coming at you like, uh, hey dad, what about uh, crypto? <laughs> Well, um, I I will leave crypto to the experts. I'm no expert in crypto, and if, if I don't understand it, I'm not sure I'm going to invest in it. Um, so, you know, I certainly would tell my children that. Uh, it is something that, uh, you know, those kinds of more exotic investments, I, I, 
speaking with an expert again might be the right way to go. Ultimately, I think the tried and true uh, strategies for saving are the best. That is putting money in on a systematic basis, taking it out of your paycheck and putting it in over a long period of time is really going to help you uh, save for retirement and see that balance grow. Yeah, and are, are the kids receptive, you find, at, at that age, in their 20s, they're listening, they're hearing it, they're trying? I mean, I know it's not, it's not easy to save. The margins can be thin when you're growing up in the workplace. Yeah, I, I find that they are. Um, it seems to me that, you know, making sure that folks are well-grounded in financial education is something that's important to everybody. So there, again, lots of information available online that you can you can look at from, you know, very reputable companies like Securian. We've been operating since 1880 in St. Paul in the financial services industry. Uh, lots of stuff you can go out there and kind of educate yourself with. Um, I do find that, that folks, once they kind of understand the basic concepts uh, of saving for retirement, putting in it over time, understanding what your risk uh, tolerance is, et cetera, they, uh, they, really, they really do kind of start to put the entire picture together. Ted Schmelzley, really appreciate your time, sir. Thanks for the conversation today. Great to be with you. Have a wonderful day. You as well. Retirement Solutions Vice President from Securian Financial, Ted Schmelzley. We'll take a quick break here.